Is there a rubbish or something over here? Oh, and your ether was closed. Come on. And your ether was closed. Help your ether, show me your ether. Show me your ether. That's the sandwich. <laughs> what is up? Good morning, my adventure. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. It's 620, we blew out 19 miles. It's a little sporty. We're doing a cabin life on the way out. But uh fishing with me today is the one and only Kami Kazimar. Put lines out, we're putting a hundred percent. The one that caught the Marley a few weeks back, we're putting that back out. We got a new leader on there. And then uh, we're gonna put a few more lures out. But uh, I don't know, it's been kind of slow lately, so let's see if we can find some birds. There's some birds around this morning. That's kind of why I slowed down. What we're looking for is Otaru, the large skip giant. That's what I really want. I want to eat some Otaru sashimi. So, I guess as always, you guys know how it works. With any good fishing trip, you gotta get something, you have to give something. I'll tell you what, that's Sea God. He loves his spam to be. So let's get a spam to be in the water. Let's get these lines set. This will be a lucky boys and girls for the dream. Never give up. It's gonna be a good day today, I'm sure. It's gonna be sporty, that's for sure. It's pretty sporty right now. Snappy. A whole bunch of birds back up that way. But let's see the lines in the water. They're hunting, they're looking, they're looking. Lots of birds. It's gonna be a bird pile over here shortly, I guarantee you. Um, just put 100% over there. We're gonna run a nine inch ice boot on the center. We're gonna run a seven inch boot snow globe on that long, on the on the port rigger. And then uh, three five inch slants. More sure slants down the middle. Let's see if we get lucky. All right, boys, we're gonna get these lures in the water. I'll see you guys back here shortly. Come on, you shot the birds out there? Just put the lines out. I'm gonna get some gas now going down sea. Just so we get the riggers and everything to slide up. Make sure everything's where it should be. Lots of birds in there, so I don't know, we'll see. Lots of birds. Let's see what happens. Alright, everybody, here we go. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Should be good today. It's about 150 birds next area just working in the area. So. 19.2 miles exactly right now. So we'll see what happens, everybody. For the dream, never give up. It's gonna be good today, I promise. You give a thumbs up, I promise it'll be good today. About 99.9%. Alright, see you guys soon. Alright, 7.40 in the morning. We just found our first bird pile. We are 24.8 miles right now. First bird pile of the day. About 200 birds at least. What do you think, Mark? Is that a bird ball? It's getting. <laughs> right there. From there all the way over there. It's huge. All right, let's get it, boys and girls, for the dream. Let it be good. Hey, get some weight. Hopefully it's Otaru. Hopefully it's not small. I hope it's Otaru. Couple hundred birds. They were working before we got to them. Now let's take there. Looking for a fish again. I don't know, we'll see. A couple sitting down, so. Let's see what's happening over here. We're definitely looking for a fish again. Oh, we saw the bird pond from about a mile away. And now it looks like they're hunting for a fish again. They're all spread out hunting. A couple hundred birds, let's see. You guys up here look promising. We'll see what happens. Oh, right there. Oh, you saw him? Yeah. Oh, I look like a shibi. Look at that. Look at that, they came up right there in front of us. Wow, that looks like she, I don't know if that's what Thomas Mark. Look at a 50 pound shebe. I don't know, I was in a bird pond for about 15, 20 minutes. And they kept running. And I don't think it was a Tadu. What it looked like to me was, I don't know if I got a camera, I think I might have. It looked like it was like 40 or 50 pound shebe, the yellow fish would have. What it looked like. In Hawaii, anything over under 100 pounds, yellow fish would have wise. Or tuna wise, consider a sheepy. 
Hey, the over 100 sits there behind you. And they look like 40 or 50 pound shibi. They're breaking water. And I couldn't get a good pass on. I went down and the bird lost split up. So the birds are hunting again. So we're going to make a turn down, see, and we'll see. I don't know, maybe the pal split up and maybe a different pal found the fish again. Mark's having sushi time ready. <laughs> I know we're in Hawaii. She's gonna bring sushi for lunch. I'm trying to catch my sushi. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully it's Otaru's, we'll see. It's far out, 30 miles. Better be Otaru's. I'm marking nothing on the corner yet. That's the one right there. There we go. Otaru. That's one. Single Otaru. Double. The other one, the other's about to go. There you go. That's two. Up the size. Got the way from it. Got the way from it. Up A blood water, that's how you wake up. So maybe all of them are found getting a 17 pounder and that one did about 12 pounds. So for easy math we'll call it 18. So that's uh, what 30 pounds right there? It's a big one too though. But let's get them and see if we can get multiple. Alright, but for the dream, never give up. Let's see what happens when you're young, that's it. And the other one's on, huh? That one's on, yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck is here? Let's look at it. This size one, the nine inch lure. Oh, he's tangled too, that's why. Yeah. Then we'll. Oh, not tangled. Nine inch lure. That's a roll. We'll switch that lure out after, okay? That's what's all Good. Here. You got it? Good. Nice lure. You like that, huh? She's a hungry little girl. Oh, yeah. And for all the gear I use from the leader line to everything else, I get from highfisher.com, local tackle shop. Links are in the bottom for everything I use. Uh, if you use raw five at checkout, you get five percent off. Check, out, check them out, local store. There's a lot of stuff on there you, you might find that you might not be able to find them in a lot of Hawaii stuff. I'm sure you, you heard me say it in the past. They bring a lot of stuff that I use that I can't get locally. And for you mainland guys, there's a lot of stuff that's unique to Hawaii that I wonder where you are. But definitely check out highfishgear.com. They're not really we got a couple on the five inch. But it feels like they want bigger bait, so I put some six inch bullets off. The last one bit of nine inch lure. Glad they were catching you on uh, five inch lures. It seems like they want bigger bait. So, you know, the other one, the first one they showed was a six inch bullet. So, I put some six inch lures out. And now we have two sevens, three sixes, and one five. Let's see what they're taking. Back in them. At least they're kind of sitting around this 31 mile range, so don't do that. And now is 10 a.m. High changes in about 41 minutes. So normally my theory is half an hour before, half an hour after is when it gets good. Let's see what happens, boys and girls. We got like four fish right now. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, I'm more I'm confident to see Mark is finally getting his sea legs. His legs are definitely better. Or it comes to the pile now. The last one was an Otaru, so let's see. Let's see if those tiles start biting. One is a little puppy that's for sure. That's a monster pass right there.
Look at that pass mark. Let's see if everyone now. Down to the corner. I just saw Smash against the two of them. Over oh, right there, I see. Oh, my eyes. My eyes. You're on one. That's one on. That my eyes. That my eyes. I'll see you up for you. So you can build that. We come back right now. There you go. Go ahead. One report. One report. Not under that guy. It's so good. Close it. Leave him in there. You don't play that guy. Six inch lure. Six inch bullet. You saw him go to the pile, Mark? Huh? You saw him go to the pile? Oh, right there, one more. Oh, he just missed. Oh, you're on. You're on, Mark. That rigger. That rigger might be on. He's on, right? Oh, yeah, it's on. You got another MyY. Definitely got another MyY. Try to reel your line. More close to the leader if you can, so we have to lead as much, yeah? Oh, right there, one more. Ah, oh, he just missed. He just missed the other rigger. Is there a rubbish or something over here? Oh, and your Ichimo's closed. And your Ichimo's closed. Yo, your Ichimo, show me your Ichimo. Show me your Ichimo. That's the sandwich. There you go. Close it, close it, you close it. Two more mines. That's why I thought when you pass these mines, they're cheating them. Two little my eyes, one on a six inch bullet, one on a five inch slant. A whole bunch of them came out of the boat. Those guys are done though, they're hooked so... Those hooks and they hooked to those things I'm actually using. <laughs> it's done. The whole aisle is all ripped on one of them. Alright, let's go, let's go back. Let's go back off of the bow. Get back in them. That's why the pile's running so fast is my eyes. Here there's a lot of my eyes in the pile chasing them. I'll keep me a little bit, we're like 29, 21. Well, 29 miles, I'll keep me a little bit, but I saw two of my they nearly broke up and they sat down. There's bird city all over the place. There's a couple flying here, a couple flying there, but definitely lost the fish. And it's after the high change, 10.43. The high change was maybe like 95 minutes ago. So, I keep going. I keep going. Like I said, it's three bites a day. Early bite, late bite, and wait for the late bite. Wait for the late bite now. It's 4.30, 26 miles out. I finally came across my third bird pop of the day. Like I said before, it's three bites a day. Early bite, the late bite. I'm waiting for the late bite. This might be late by boys and girls. This is the power we're waiting for. I chased this power for over four miles. I was going at 10 knots, 11 knots. Try to catch up to him. I couldn't catch up to him. I finally catch up to him right now. And this pal is nasty. Oh man. There's big fish here. This is the power dreams are made of right now. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. Slow day so far, but let's see if Peter are doing this out to the delete by works. Hey, a good pass in. I hope it's hard one, maybe. Slow down, Mark. Hand crank it. Hand crank it, Mark. I pushed the button in. Ah! Oh. I'm the I'm the 100 percenter. Okay, put it back out. We gotta be fast. Oh my god, they're not so on one. One, one on, only one. Did he just come off? Okay, put it back up. It's fine. Okay, put it back up. Put it up the center again. Fine, that pile sucked. It's huge. I wasn't marking anything inside. And we had three knock on that pile. We lost the first two, we got the last one. And I don't know, that pile looked way better than what it was. I wasn't marking anything. 
I saw them blow the first time I went through them, and after that, say the fish lost the bait or the birds and the bait moved up. I have no idea what happened. Weird. But uh, we had 18 months to go. We picked that pound for one, the pond really sat down. They broke up, they lost the fish, and they're all sitting in the water, so. Time to head in, 18 miles left to go. And it's six o'clock. Sun's gonna be down very shortly. The last pile of the day was straight heartbreak. It was the best bird pile all day and the fish would not cooperate. At the end of the day, we ended up with two Mai Mai and six Aku. We were able to sell the six Aku at a local fish market, which helped us to cover expenses. I will have the story with the ghost that was on the boat up for you guys by Wednesday next week. And next week Friday, we're gonna have a super, super epic double sunset trip where we caught Ika, we caught Shibid, we green sticked, we libated, and we had a unbelievable trip you are not gonna want to miss that next week friday as always guys tight line safe fishing we'll see on the water under the water the